All right, you guys, so we're gonna check out how to generate these logo effects here on Firefly, and then we're gonna import into Photoshop and assemble a GIF from it. All right, so we're gonna start in Adobe Firefly, and we're gonna go to the image, and select the image generator, and here we're gonna go to the model, and I'm gonna change it to Firefly Image 3. I also tested out the Firefly Image 4, but it's kind of incapable. I'm having issues with it. I still couldn't find the correct workflow, so I'm gonna go with Firefly Image 3. Aspect ratio, I'm gonna go with widescreen, content type photo. And I'm gonna go here to the composition reference and I'm gonna upload the logo. I'm gonna go with the Nike logo, click on open. And let's increase the strength all the way up to 100. Also make sure to set the visual intensity nice and high. And all you need to do is go to the prompt and I'm gonna start with the first prompt. Logo made of green liquid gel, top view, black background. And let's generate. Oh, by the way, also make sure to turn off the fast mode. And I'm gonna turn it off and here are the results. For the reference, I'm gonna go with this one. Click on download. All right, so let's go to the next prompt and I'm gonna leave the top view black background and I'm gonna switch up the rest of the prompts. And here I'm gonna go with logo made of stone. Generate. And check this out, we already got some results. This looks pretty good, but you also can keep on generating and testing. All right, so let's go on to the next prompt. And next I'm gonna go with logo composed of ripped papers with wrinkles, collage. And hit generate. And I think we got pretty good results. Actually, the first one is nice. It's a little bit ripped, it got wrinkles, and it's pretty clear as well. So I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm gonna go back to the prompt, and I'm gonna remove this prompt here again. Let's check out the Chrome logo. So I'm gonna go with Liquid Chrome logo. Enter. Okay, so this doesn't seem that good. And let me try it out with like decreased visual intensity. I'm gonna go with low somewhere here. Click on generate. All right, so let's see what we got. So the first one is pretty good. The second one is even better. And then the rest are kind of incorrect. I'm also going to add polished. Interesting. So it seems like this prompt is a little bit more complicated for the AI. But I'm going to go with this one anyways. Download. Let's go back to the prompt. I'm going to go delete the polish and all of it. Let's try out a logo made of moss or grass. And here we got the moss. I think it's pretty good. You also can try it out with fur, logo made of, I don't know, pink fur, enter. Oh wow, so check this out, this is actually pretty good, and I'm gonna go with this one. Next we're gonna try out the old school inflated text. So I'm gonna type in a yellow inflated logo made of a rubber. And let's check out some inflated text, this one is great. What else? Let's go with logo made of ketchup. Let's see what we got. And check this out, this one is great, but I'm just gonna go with this. All right, so we're gonna try out one more and we're gonna go into Photoshop. So this is gonna be a logo made of green brush strokes. All right, perfect. And pretty much this is gonna do the job and let's go into Photoshop. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in the first frame and what I'm gonna do is remove the background from it and I'm gonna remove the background from all of it. And basically all you need to do is go here to the taskbar and click on remove background and wait for it. And from here, we're gonna go and select solid color, make it black click OK and drag it under the logo. And I'm gonna select the top layer, bring in the new frame, repeat the step, remove background. Let's uncheck the logos and repeat the step over and over again. After removing all the backgrounds, I'm gonna go to the solid color here with this background. I'm gonna press and hold Alt and duplicate and drag it above this layer. So what I'm gonna do is just duplicate and put a solid in between these generated layers, in between the logos. I'm also going to activate all the layers and I'm going to select the first logo and press and hold shift select the solid, right click and select merge layers. And I'm going to repeat this step. So basically you're going to select the logo and select the background and merge the layers. Now we're going to make a GIF out of this. Let's go to window and I'm going to go down and select the timeline. Let's click on create video timeline and check this out. Here we got all the frames. Now let's go down here to this handle and I'm going to zoom in all the way and I'm going to search for the fifth frame here. I'm going to bring this here, press and hold shift, select all the layers and we're going to go and trim this with this button. There you go. Let's select the longer ones, press on delete and make sure to remove all of them. Now let's go and select one of the layers and bring it out and I'm going to go to the third one and repeat this step until you're going to place every each next to each other. There you go. Let's hit play and decide looks. If you want to make it load faster, all you need to do is go here to the image, image size, 
and decrease the size. For example, 800, enter. If you want to render this in GIF, all you need to do is go here to the file. Let's go to export and let's select save for web legacy. Make sure that you're on the GIF, select the GIF. Here you can select the number of the colors. I'm going to go with 32 and I went with the pattern. All you need to do is hit play and here you have it in lower resolution. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.